Continuing coverage now live at 6, 16 families homeless tonight after an early morning fire. The blaze broke out just after midnight. Today, the fire marshal and investigators have been trying to figure out how it started. NBC 26's Raquel Amel has been on the scene all day and has more from Beaver Dam. The fire chief tells me there are 16 units inside of this building and all 16 of them are not able to be lived in at this time. Today, fire crews examining the building to figure out how that fire started. According to the fire chief, when the call came in, they knew they had a serious situation when they heard people were hanging out of windows to escape the flames. At least five people had to be rescued by firefighters. Fifteen people were treated at the scene, seven taken to a nearby hospital, and one firefighter suffered a dog bite wound. While firefighters worked to figure out the cause of that fire, families were meeting with Red Cross officials to figure out their next steps. Uh, we pro just provide direct financial assistance and our clients can use that however they choose. If they choose to spend the night in a hotel, that's on them. That's up to them. Um, we don't direct them on how they can recover. We let them recover how they see fit. For some of the people involved in this fire, they tell me it's the second one in just over a month. And they say right now they're just trying to get back on their feet again, which is proving to be a struggle. You hear from somebody who was involved in both fires coming up tonight at 10. In Beaver Dam, Raquel Amell, NBC 26. Crews from eight fire departments battled that blaze. They were able to get it under control within about a half hour.